Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. The, uh, the military has made me who I am today. I joined pretty much fresh out of high school. Uh, you know, just a, a young, stupid kid. My name's uh, Mass Corporal Matthew Bordeaux. I'm a member of uh, uh, one key mechanized brigade group, uh, headquarters and signal squadron. Matthew's service in the armed forces was varied and well-traveled, but his work, especially as a paratrooper, took its toll. Not only just jumping, um, all the, you know, the rock marching, all the, the high impact on my legs, I developed uh, what's called compartment syndrome. The pouch that holds your muscle uh, doesn't grow with the muscle, essentially, because th your muscle grows very, very rapidly. I, I, just, I didn't feel right. My, my shins would be on fire. My ankles would be hurting any time we'd go just for a simple walk. After an unsuccessful surgery, Matthew still lives with a constant pain from his injuries. It's why he's in the scenic coastal town of Tofino, BC, as a participant with the Canadian Armed Forces' week-long Soldier On program which, through physical activities such as ocean kayaking, rainforest hikes, and beachside yoga, helps service members with injuries and trauma move forward with their lives. I am part of a, a big team, and the team doesn't just forget about me. The team is always there for me to, uh, to come back to and to, to talk to as well. Warrant Officer Eric Venema is the Western Region Coordinator for the Soldier On program. You get that message from the medical people that, I'm sorry, you've got this illness or this injury and it's preventing you from doing your job properly. People take that and they tend to regress. They tend to regress into their homes. Uh, issues develop uh, within the family unit and they're, they just have a hard time. And that's where a Soul Drone wants to come in and help people and we provide a safe and secure environment for them to challenge themselves and to also connect with others in the peer support method. It's giving people that chance, that opportunity to find their new normal. Inhale to come halfway up, hands to your shins, roll your shoulders back. Yoga means union. It's a mind, body and spirit connection. So. It's more of a practice of letting go than a practice of achievement. Well, I'm Julia Ferrari and um, I'm a yoga teacher. It's always great to see people that are not super familiar with it and introduce it to them, um, help them find connection with themselves and their body on the mat. Matthew wasn't particularly interested in trying out yoga, but was glad he did. I went in with a closed mind. I wasn't really excited to, uh, to do a yoga practice whatsoever. Um, but once we got started, um, the way she introduced it, the way she spoke to us throughout, um, you know, the simplicity of the moves that, uh, that she had us doing, it, it made for a really, really great, relaxing morning, and I feel like a million bucks. According to Eric, the hope is that some of these experiences catch on with participants and lay the foundation for lasting benefits. I've had people come up to me and say, thank you for putting on this event. Thank you for helping me with my self-dignity. That's huge. For Matthew, his week with Soldier On hit all the right notes. First off, it's the, the experience itself has been fantastic. Eric did a great job. It's just been a great experience of, uh, of peer support. You know, everyone just kind of talks to each other, you know, about how they deal with, with what they deal with. And, it's a good, good place to learn um, how to cope with something potentially and it's good to see you know other people going through the same the same things you're going through and everyone just kind of helps each other out Yee